Duplex ultrasound is used to mark the skin overlying the incompetent portion of the GSV starting at the SFJ. The area to be treated is prepped and draped. Percutaneous needle access of the distal aspect of the incompetent segment of the GSV is obtained under ultrasound control. An O35 guide wire is placed through the needle up the GSV into the CFV. The position of the guide wire is verified with ultrasound. A 5 French introducer sheath is placed over the wire into the CFV. Remove the wire and internal dilator once the position of the sheath is verified with ultrasound. Intraluminal position is confirmed by aspiration of non-pulsatile venous blood. Withdraw the sheath under ultrasound control until the tip of the sheath is about one centimeter distal to the SFJ. A 600 micron Diomed laser fiber is inserted into the sheath and advanced up to the first sight mark indicating that the distal tip of the laser fiber is flush with the end of the sheath. The sheath is then withdrawn to the second sight mark, exposing the distal three centimeters of the bare tipped laser fiber. Verify that the laser fiber tip is about one centimeter distal to the SFJ with ultrasound and by checking the location of the aiming beam. Deliver adequate to mesit anesthesia, 0.2% xylocaine, under ultrasound control, intrafacially, around the GSV, from the SFJ to the point of needle access distally. In addition to the anesthetic effects, properly delivered, this fluid compresses the vein and provides a heat sink to minimize the possibility of heat-related damage to adjacent tissues. Laser energy is delivered continuously as the laser fiber is withdrawn at about 2 millimeters per second from just below the SFJ to the point where the fiber enters the GSV distally. Once the distal segment of the vein has been treated, the laser is put in standby and the sheath and fiber are removed. A short stretch bandage is worn for three days and a class two stocking is worn for a week.